What are you talking about, Mama? Plants, Wolfie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my journey with them. Today I'm going to do a video on uh, some Hoyas. Um, I, want, I thought it might be interesting to do a video of um, uh, showing you guys some really trendy Hoyas and some Hoyas that are not really talked about. There are Hoyas where you uh, search on Instagram and there's just like so many posts about them and everybody wants uh, some Hoyas and then there are some, some Hoyas that are just because there are so many so many varieties of Hoyas um, so they can't all be super uh, trendy so uh, I figured I could show you guys some like uh, really popular ones and also some that I think deserves a little bit more attention and uh, just for the record the ones that are super trendy I totally agree with the trend they are, these Hoyas, I just think um, they're better than their hype, you know? So um, without further ado, I'm just going to go into them. So what I'm going to do is just do like in pairs. I kind of just put them together without any rhyme or reason of pairs, but I'm going to do like one trendy one and then follow by one that's not like super popular. So, okay, so I'm just going to, I guess I'll start from this side of the Hoyas. I have my beautiful, super popular um, Hoya Australis, Lisa. It's in water right now because I'm in the process of transferring it into Lekka. This Hoya is worth all the hype. Um, the leaves, the variegation is so stunning. And when the new leaves come, they are really like ruby red. It, and it's the oval shape is just so darling. So yeah. I, I find this Hoya to be not as easy to take care of, actually. So that's why I'm changing my method to see if and I'll have better luck in Lekka with it. So the one that I have paired up with it is the Hoya UT033. This Hoya, it's working on a new leaf right now. It is so stunning. The the um, indentations, and in, is that the right word, in the leaf. It's just so beautiful. I have featured this on my Instagram before and um, compared it with, um, I actually have it right here, um, Monstera Peru in the philodendron world. It has that kind of like prehistoric um, presence to it. So yeah, so this one is not, Really well known, but I think it's, if you you see someone selling it, I definitely think it's a Hoya that's worth collecting. Very beautiful. The next pair I have on my list, um, the trendy one is the Hoya Serpents. And again, I think it is absolutely worth the hype. It's so, so cute. It's the leaves are really hard. They remind me of those like little candies and they're fuzzy. And it's actually a really, really easy uh, care, easy to care for Hoya. I got it as like unrooted cuttings and it has not disappointed me. Look at these new growth. It has not stopped putting out new growth. It's kind of like Hoya Matil. And like if you could see some of them have like really cute speckles on them too. So this Hoya definitely worth the hype and if you could find one, I, I think you wouldn't be uh, disappointed in getting one. Um, so the one that I paired with it is the Hoya Bicanelli. This one, I never really hear people talk about it, but it's so thick and succulent and so shiny. Uh, it's just like super satisfying to look at and to feel and to just like enjoy. It has this dark glossy shine to it. It kind of reminds me of like this really smooth Hoya Chelsea. So yeah, that's that pair. Did I mention I have seven pairs to show you guys here today? The next one I will show you is the so the trendy one is the Hoya Obavara, which everybody loves. And I love, love, love. 
so, so much. I have the, some of the leaves are super like weird looking, but like the the round big leaves and the speckles and that dark green, it's just so perfect. I really want like a full pot of it. I got two cuttings of this and it has been growing for me. So I'm really happy with it. And it's like becoming a fuller pot. Isn't it just? Yeah, so definitely I understand why it's so trendy. It's not that hard to grow either. So I think people from the States uh, have better luck finding it. It's not so available here in Canada. And then the one that I pair with it, I really, really love this Hoya. It's not really talked about as much. It's, called, it's the Guang Guoyana. It has really unique variegation. And the leaves are in the long and big. And also it's not hard to grow. It's not fussy. I love this Hoya so much too. This is, it's just like, I feel like I can never have enough. Each one of them bring me so much joy and they never stop bringing me so much joy. I just continue finding so much happiness uh, by like taking care of them, looking at them, observing their changes. So yeah. The next pair I'm going to show you is the Incrisetta. So you, you can kind of see the Album Marginata one here. I actually also brought over the Variegata one. Uh, which they, I think it's also called Moon Shadow. But the variation is very unique and very beautiful. And it's got that beautiful curve um, shape to it. This one. It's, isn't it so beautiful? So yeah, these, these, uh, these two Incrisettas and plus the green one, I think they are a little bit more well-known. Um, you can find uh, lots of pictures of them on Instagram. And rightfully so, they are so beautiful to have in your collection. Uh, and then the next one I will show you that I, I the, the kind of a unknown one is um, Hoya Kuang Bing. This one I don't think I have, I was not able to find really any, very much info on this one at all. But it kind of reminds me of a Hoya Dang Nan Vietnam with the veining. It's just so beautiful. And so the veining is just so unique. Very, very elegant plant. I've had this uh, since last year, maybe like in the winter, and I haven't exposed this to much light, so I don't know if the leaves um, would have different coloration under different intensity of light. Uh, it'd be interesting to, to find out as I grow with this plant. I'm sorry, I'm sweating so much, so hot, and I closed the, the window so that the outside sound's not coming in, but I'm just like sweating. <laughs> the next pair I will show you is, um, so the trendy one is the Hoya Dekiai. Look at this plant. This is a, actually a really kind of difficult plant to take care of. I have, uh, when I first received it, it just turns so wrinkly. And I have recently repotted it into just sphagnum moss because I heard someone had quite uh, good success with doing that, giving it more moisture. And it, it does, it has firmed up a lot since then. So hopefully this one is here to stay. But the heart shape, the veining, the color, and this, how succulent it is, it is a Hoya that's like totally, completely worth its hype. Other than the fact that it's really hard to take care of, I've killed one and then I've given another one away because it's just uh, kind of hard to make it happy. So when I had the opportunity to get a bigger plant, I always have better success uh, getting bigger plants because the root system is more established. So when I had the opportunity to take care of this one, I really jumped on board, but it wasn't easy to uh, bring it to the kind of healthy looking state. That, that it is in right now. But yeah, totally beautiful. And the one that I paired with this one is the Hoya Scortatini. This one actually is a little bit more kind of well-known than the other ones. It has these like long shaped leaves 
and the speckles on it, it's so unique. It's like really looking at like a nice starry sky. Very beautiful, very elegant. The leaves are hard too. So yeah, I think this one is definitely makes me really happy to have it in my collection to like, for me to look at it and enjoy its presence. Yeah, so that one. The next pair I have is, uh, so the trendy one is the Hoya Bella Variegata. Obviously, it's definitely worth its height. It's so beautiful. The elegance, the color, and I would say the ease of care too. It's not, it hasn't been too fussy for me. Similar to the other two Bellas. Uh, and the one that I pair with it is your, just your everyday variety Carnosa. I love Carnosas. The, the green one, this one is supposed to have pink flowers, so it's called Carnosa Pink. Um, but I just love it. it the simple elegance to this plan um, just never gets old for me. It was actually a gift from, from when I purchased other Hoyas and it was just like a cutting that was a gift for me but I actually was not less in love with it than the other Hoyas that I paid for. So it gave it a really beautiful pot too. Okay, the last pair that I'm going to show you is the, um, so the popular one is the Hoya Hushkeliana, oh, Hushkeliana Variegata. I've lost the beautiful pink leaf. This one, again, super stunning. A very, very slow grower, but so gorgeous. I've seen pictures of a full pot of it, and it's just... The cutest thing, the most romantic little kind of French dessert looking plant to have. Yeah, I really wish that it would grow bigger for me. I think I uh, watered it too much the last time, so both of the new leaves dropped. But yeah, it's actually a really consistent grower. It has been like putting out, trying to put out new leaves throughout the, th throughout the year. Some of them make it, some of them don't. Um, but yeah, so, so it's kind of slow, but totally beautiful. And the last one that's kind of, uh, I, I think, underrated and should have a little bit more attention is the uh, Hoya Odorata. It's a very unique Hoya. I don't even think it, it's very uh, much like oh, any other Hoyas, but it's just got this like wispy elegance to it. I really enjoy it. And it, ha it hasn't been growing very fast for me but uh, both, it's putting out new growth points on both stems. Yeah, but I really enjoy it. It's just, again, really elegant, very beautiful. Um, I think I might do another video on this because I, have, I just have so many Hoyas and I wanna show you guys like some more of them too. And I kinda enjoy the pairing them. Um, yeah, uh, I am just like, sweating like crazy so I'm gonna finish this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, if you do please subscribe, comment, like my video and I'll be back with uh, more videos on plants and Hoyas. Bye guys!